Let's talk about the heat. Why don't we? <laughs> oh my gosh, let's not. I know, uh, right? <laughs> even coming in this morning, in the middle of the night, it's still hot outside. It is. We started off in the upper 70s, lower 80s, and we're just going to get even hotter than we have been the past few days. We hit 103 yesterday, 102 on Friday. Today we're going for 105, but look at your Monday, 107. And this is going to be because that ridge will build right over our area. That's going to push our temperatures near record highs. This is going to be the hottest week that we have seen so far this year. We also have an ozone action day for the Metroplex. If you have any upper respiratory issues, you are going to want to minimize your time outdoors and that elevated grass fire risk is also going to be continuing through the upcoming week as we have a very dry and sunny stretch on the way. So our drought conditions are going to continue to get worse. We do have that heat advisory back in place throughout all of North Texas. It starts at one o'clock this afternoon runs through 8 p.m. on Monday could feel as high as 109 degrees. We are going to see it extended through the middle of the week as well. But look at this. It's not just us all throughout the southeast, even down into Florida. They have that heat advisory and there are different criteria for these advisories and excessive heat warnings to be issued depending on where you live because everybody gets used to slightly different conditions. So for Florida to have that heat advisory, it's going to be really hot in those areas. So a heat advisory for us is when the actual air temperature is 103 degrees or it feels like 105 plus for two consecutive days. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an excessive heat warning for our area and that's when the actual air temperature hits 105 or it feels like 110 plus for two consecutive days. The reason I say that is look at this. Our forecast high for Monday, Tuesday, even into Wednesday, 106 to 107. That's going to put us near those records. We could even get very close to the afternoon record for today at 106. But that elevated fire danger are still along and west of I-35, but we are going to see this continuing to shift slightly further east over Monday as well. So that's going to include the McKinney area, getting closer to Terrell and the Corsicana area as we just have lots of sunshine on the way. So we're at 79 degrees in DFW. It's feeling like 81 degrees right now. Feels closer to 80 in Fort Worth, 75 in Cleburne. Very hot day on the way. We're 92 at 10 a.m., 104 by 2 o'clock, but we will top out closer to 105 in DFW. But your first alert, seven-day forecast, near record high temperatures as we get into next weekend. That's when we'll start to see some clouds moving in, Robbie. I will show you some slim rain chances early next week. We're talking about eight to nine days out.